Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. Today we're going to be doing another replay for Total War Warhammer. Today we're going to be doing um, green versus green, a green skin on green skin matchup. He's actually Crooked Moon, though it doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, yeah, you can, we'll go over the army picks once inside there, but I definitely have started to love this Ragnarok Spider Queen. I almost bring her on every mission, every battle I have with the green skins. Um, I divided for, uh, diverted from my normal build with um, Warzag. I wanted to try Effigy of the Git. Um, so you're going to see me deploy way far back because it takes um, 130 seconds to get the use of that um, ability. So supporting him, I have three of these Goblin War bosses on spiders with healing potions. I have three biggins here across the back. Um, I believe. I have two biggins, I guess, one for each flank. Um, my main line is these goblins mixed with, I have two goblins on this side, um, four savage orcs down the middle. Um, I have the warlords ar armor sundering boys here in the middle to um, support any main engagement with black orcs was my thinking. Um, so I'd armor sunder them with those guys and then have my savage orcs do most of the damage from there. Um, I have one goblin on this side just because of money, um, and I have two of these squigs her squig herds on each side. Um, I've got, of course, Wurzag being covered by his Ragnarok spider mom here, um, and with the little baby spider. You can see his wonderful dancing skills. Never stops dancing. Um, and then here we have these rusty airs. Um, also for dealing with black works um, or uh, any Ragnarok spider if he brought one because of the armor sundering they do um, they're also decent against giants and stuff like that so um, I always like to bring especially when facing greenskins at least one archer unit to deal with giants um, because otherwise they can spam giants and leave you in a very bad place um, here you can see he has these um, Deaf Creepers, Forest Goblin, Spider Rider, Archers, and they're going to start harassing me right away. And I'm going to try and catch them with the Ragnarok Queen's ability, as I am want to do. Over here, he's got two units of squigs. Um, he's got his Night Goblin War Boss here on a squig. Um, he's got a um, Spider a Goblin Big Boss here on a spider. And then he's got the Broken Tusk Mob. Really good. Um, Orc board boy biggin. Um, his main force consists of this um, Doom Diver catapult. It's going to be fun to watch them launch their stuff into my line. Um, he is going to have a main force comprised of two of these goblins, followed up by Savage Orc biggins. Um, probably to try and fight any large units I bring, like cavalry or um, specifically my spider, because of their anti-large bonus. Um, he's going to have this Night Goblin Shaman here supporting this side. Um, he's going to have two Black Orcs with the Crimson Killers in the back, and uh, the Rusty Errors here. Um, pretty similar army compositions, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So he's going to start harassing me. I'm just waiting back here. I'm trying to let um, Effigy of the Git charge on Wurzag here. The Great Green Prophet. The Dancing Green Prophet. Once I see these guys, I'm going to try and catch them here with this Goblin Spider Boss. Um, a Goblin Big Boss. Um, but he's not going to be able to catch them on, on his own. Um, and so you're going to see me move my Ragnarok Spider over here um, because I'm not really afraid of a flying death squad I feel like I would have seen it by now um, and I'm gonna move them over this way um, I'd much rather have him shooting at my goblin big boss than any of my other units just because arrows aren't as good against heroes um, especially small ones like this guy so I'm gonna try and bait him back and then I'm gonna move my whole line up this way to try and deal with it See him sitting back here with his Doom Diver. Um, I can't see these guys, these guys are all hidden, I think. Um, and I'm definitely going to chase these guys. And you're going to see me spawn a unit of spiders behind him here in a second.
Maybe we can, there we go. There we go. Look at now it's going to skirmish them this way. Um, and I'm going to try and stay on them with these spiders, but they don't actually slow them down or do any damage. Um, they just kind of stay with them. Um, which is okay for me. And I'm going to start moving, oh boy. I'm going to start moving the Goblet Big Boss, the Squigs, um, all of my kind of mobile units this way to help. And I'm also going to eventually move my line further up and my biggins out here to support too. Um, you can see them running away. They're taking a huge morale hit, um, but they're not taking much damage. Um, you can see my spiders among them, but they're just not doing anything. Um, I was very confused. But he sees this and he moves his entire flanking force over to help. Um, and I'm going to say, sure, I have an Ragnarok spider right here. I'll take this fight any day of the week. Um, and so I'm going to charge him with my squigs, with my big boss, with my Ragnarok spider. I'm going to move some goblins over, and I'm going to move some biggins over while I move this kind of force, minus the squigs, to go engage his main line. I didn't see that his general was over here when I first engaged. Um, otherwise, I might have not considered it. Um, but I really don't think he has the power here to deal with this Ragnarok spider. And so um, it's really hard to see in these woods. See, all I see is a bunch of... Um, all I see is a bunch of like health bars. Uh, so I really have no idea what's going on. But I feel like I have enough infantry support nearby, squigs more coming in, that I can kind of deal with this flank. So the rest of my troops are again going to just move up here and engage his huge black orc core force here. You can see his doom diver going off, shooting in. What's he shooting at? Savage orcs, that's a good target. I'm going to hit a tree there, so it's going to provide a bit of a cover for my troops. Um, I'm going to also move uh, on second Goblin Big Boss and Wurzag over here. Um, now that I see him running, I'm going to start diverting Wurzag back to my main line. Uh, my main line is going to come here and engage him in a weird um, kind of angle, um, and I think that's going to help me here, um, just because he might get a, he's going to get a little blobbed up here trying to engage my much wider line. Um, I think he's thinking that he'll just be able to crash through these small um, amounts of units here with no problem. Um, but see, this armor sundering here is going to hit all these guys, um, most likely. So that's good. And you can see what's wheeling up here. Nothing else but a foot of cork. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a huge amount of damage here on this black orc, here on this black orc. Um, it's gonna, it's crazy, and you can see him now coming after here to s try and snipe Orzag out with his mobile force. Um, this force is finally gonna finish up and come out, um, but at this point he's taking so much damage here. Um, he's taking so much damage that he doesn't have much of a hope here, especially with the armor sundering, um, and my god for more boss here and supporting. My goblins over here, I send them to go engage the uh, the rusty airs, and I'm just going to ignore that character. I really need to deal with this blob of black orcs. Um, and then you can see my kind of flanking force here. It's going to come in the back and finish up um, the force sniping Orzag, but he's not even going to take that much damage, which is good. Um, I just loved that foot of orcs so much, I had to show you guys this battle. <laughs> Um, it's so satisfying when you get a good one of those in. Um, and it just, like, that's so much money down the drain. You really have no hope um, at that point. Um, anyways, good game to my opponent. Um, I probably, well, well, we'll go watch the kills. When we talk about that. Um, I generally don't like to bring black works when I'm the green skins. Maybe when I fight, maybe the Empire or something, I would bring some black orcs. Um, but they just cost so much money, and especially when you have um, like a Night Goblin Shaman or something, it's a really easy counter, because you can swarm it with lesser units and then put Itchy Nuisance and um, the other buff the Night Goblin Shaman here has, and um, get a decent amount of armor piercing on, say, like a Savage Orc against a Black Orc. And so um, you get two of these savage orcs for every one of the um, black orcs. Um, so it just is a hum it gives your line much more um, volume. Good kills here on this uh, doom diver. Um, yeah, but he just didn't really have a. 
he had this um, as an answer to my Ragnarok, just like me. Um, but it wasn't in the right place to support the engagement that I sent the Ragnarok to, um, which was the flank. I think he was a little hasty. Um, it didn't look like I was going to catch this guy, and so if he had just stayed with his army, it might have been a better move. Um, but then again, I might have caught it, and that's a big amount of money down the drain if you lose one of these guys. Um, but yeah, his squigs did well. Um, my squigs did almost nothing. Um, where's Ag? 48 kills on that uh, foot of cork. Um, and these Savage Orc Biggins, I've never actually brought them. I don't really know how they um, do, but they're just so expensive. I've always shied away and gone for the more like stable and armored um, Orc Boy Biggins. Um, but I should kind of probably test how a Savage Orc Biggin does against like a giant or um, some cavalry or, or an Ragnarok or something. That'd be a good thing to test. Um, yeah, just a lot of um, regiments of renown here that didn't pay off. Um, I think for the regiments of renown, it's good to have like one or two, um, especially the ones that don't take as much micromanagement. Um, like um, like these uh, Rusty Airs and the Crimson Killers. Um, you can just get so much money for the price of these that they they have to get a lot of kills for them to be worth it. Um, you could support a fight with like a lot of these cheap goblin units if you just went with a normal version of this and some goblin units. Um, and these Crimson Killers, I've seen they just don't do very well because the the other player tends to focus them down so fast. Um, that might be good. It might make their attention focus on some unit that's not the core of the army and you can kind of use it there, but if you're using this as your main killing power and it gets focused down real quick by like the rusty airs or something like that, there's not much you can do at that point. Um, especially when a good, a good foot of gork slams on it. Um, yeah, I guess um, good game to uh, Ragnarok FL um, and that's that.